What is up, residents of the Mice Clan? It is your boy Six Mice, the man. Coming at y'all with part 14 of What If Naruto Was Poseidon. Yes, you heard me right, part 14. And I'd like to say, brace yourself in 12 hours, part 15. The final part to, uh, you know, uh, part one of Naruto is coming up. We will go into Shippuden, but just remember in 24 hours from now, we're going to be doing the channel announcement. Make sure to prepare for that. And yeah, so this is a series inspired by that one weep series on what if Naruto was a demigod. And thank you to all the editors who edit these videos. Links in the description. Also, thank you to uh, the Dragon Lord for creating our intro and outro. I've wasted your time long enough. Now let's get into it. In the aftermath of the sound and vision, the Raikage and his younger brother, B, are being thanked by the Leaf Village Council for helping take down uh, the one tail Shikaku who went rampant. They shrug it off and be offered uh, specifically a treaty. When everyone in the council would vote yes, Hiruzen would be caught off guard. He wasn't really listening to what they were saying and thus didn't know they were voting for anything. When he is questioned about this, he says he wishes to resign as Hokage. He doesn't feel like he's meant for it anymore. If it wasn't for the Raikage and Jiraiya, he would have been dead facing Orochimaru. And he knows that very well. So he wants Jiraiya to be Hokage. Jiraiya would obviously deny it, but suggest that they do go get Tsunade, not only to help heal the people that did get seriously wounded uh, in the sound invasion, but also she's one of the three legendary Sanin. The Raikage still there would back this almost immediately, because he knows Sanin are usually above Kage level because of their immense strength. He's heard more than just rumors of these people. Minato, who was the student of a Sanin, was faster than him after all. <sighs> Cursed, he'd say. But he does now know that Minato all this time was a god in disguise. So, why not? He decides, well, why not? I I vote you go get Tsunade. She would be a wonderful Hokage, haha. <laughs> the Raikage would say laughing. B would just be staring like, never heard you use that voice, bro. You, you fine, bro? Obviously, he said it in the classical rhyme, fool you fool manner that B has, but whatever. Jiraiya would say that he's taking Naruto with him, and the council would agree. The Raikage uh, would say that, are they gonna sign the treaty or not? They'd agree, yes, to sign the treaty before Tsunade even came, and then be off. In the same time that uh, Jiraiya went to go get Naruto and tell him they'd heading off, Naruto would have already prepared. He thought something like this might happen, plus Jiraiya was gonna leave in anyway, so he would've come with either way. So Jiraiya would explain to Naruto, and in the meantime, the Sand would be negotiating with the Leaf and the Cloud to make some sort of alliance because they were manipulated by Orochimaru because he was their Yukage, blah blah blah, and he'd obviously agree. So this would set the Sand on the same path they went in canon to Gaara eventually becoming Kazekage, that's not gonna change. But a big changer is Naruto and Jiraiya are heading off, with Naruto being curious. He'd ask Jiraiya to let him, uh, ask Jiraiya basically just to teach him a new jutsu. Jiraiya would decide to teach Naruto the toad oil jutsu, which is a water earth amalgamation technique or just water, I'm not sure. But this is the jutsu Naruto is going to be learning. So, after getting it down before arriving uh, at Tsunade, Naruto had experimented with something he'd done before. In the time skip of the Chunin exams where he mastered the Rasengan, he accidentally added too much water chakra and created a Typhoon. He wants to incorporate this into one of his main attacks by using it with less chakra. So he does become more proficient at it, and Tsunade still does the thing she does in canon, Naruto still backtalks her, and they'd get into the same altercation. She'd say she'd beat him with a finger and Naruto would say, bet, and let's go. The altercation would force Tsunade to eventually uh, keep her guard up as she jumped into an air barely dodging a master Rasengan. And then she sees something. Naruto is aiming a technique, a technique she knows all too well. This is a toad oil technique. 
she jumps to the side because she knows it's about to be set ablaze but instead of sending it towards her he spits it all over the ground she thinks is he going to set it on fire if she lands on it no it still needs to be attached to him for him to set it on fire so she lands in it but gets stuck naruto would say well i got you you might not have known this but toad well is really sticky if you don't set it on fire so he then uses his new water rasengan pointing it to the ground to shoot himself forward creating a rasengan once again but this time without the water almost slamming it into tanari but stopping that in the middle he'd say guess i won right deactivating it and poking her with a finger she'd like him just like in canon and end up giving him the necklace but this time unlike last time she tell uh jiraiya about orochimaru jiraiya would say that they're going to try and capture him and yeah she'd explain that kabuto's there and jiraiya'd say that naruto would handle kabuto naruto would obviously 100 be capable of handling kabuto it's not that hard for him now especially if he could do it in canon so the altercation between naruto and kabuto would start he would slam multiple rasengans using multiple clones into kabuto putting him in a down state he'd also now summon one of uh, the other toads he has a contract with and this toad would be gamma hero this would be the toad he just signed with in this time if there's ever an altercation where he needs to summon a big toad while jiraiya has gamma bunta out so he'd summon gamma hero and try to help out against orochimaru but against his knowing kabuto would have healed himself and taken shizune captive this would distract them long enough for the uh, kabuto clone to dispel itself and kabuto to use his jutsu to transport him and orochimaru back to headquarters they obviously fell for this technique because of the sudden outburst kabuto had when grabbing shizune and didn't think about this Tsunade would be impressed that Naruto not only has the Toad boss summoning, but also one of the sub-bosses, which is took Jiraiya many years to get. To gain that many Toad's respect is really hard, especially without even having mastered Sage Mode. So, they'd make their way back to the village, having failed their mission to defeat uh, Orochimaru because of Kabuto being a little quick on his feet, and Naruto defeating him too quickly for his own good. So, right now, they'd appear, Orochimaru is still injured with his arms taken away by uh, Kronos, god of gods, and I also said that wrong in the last chapter, I accidentally called him Kratos, sorry for everyone still watching that saw that. So, basically, they ha would have brought Tanade back, and obviously, at first it was to heal people like Lee, Hinana, and other people that got hurt in the attack, but she also would be initiated as hokage and be filled in about everything this is around the time that uh, she would basically start spending more time with naruto and i feel naruto would also be spending more time with her she'd actually uh show him something she'd talk about his heritage about how the uzumaki are uh, technically she's descent of uzumaki because her grandma was the daughter of the one of the main branch members similar to how naruto's mother was and that means they're technically related naruto would ask her why she brought this up and tanade would basically point to the diamond on her head she says this diamond isn't some sort of type two it's a it's a as she got cut off by naruto he says it's a chakra point there's a lot of chakra store back there it's like a second reserve that's twice the size of your normal one Tsunade would smile and say, exactly, this is the 100 healings technique. It's an extra chakra bank that increases your natural regeneration. Only uh, Senju and Uzumaki can use it to its fullest potential. Sure, other people can use it to boost their regeneration, but Senju and, Uch uh, and Uzumaki have extremely big, uh, you know... Uh, regeneration factor yeah i it really took me a long time to uh, figure that out uh they have a big uh, regeneration factor and this just boosts it to unholy amounts and with naruto having the night cells who heals him even more would just make this even more immense 
Naruto would actually ask something. He'd ask if the seal could be used for something else. As long as there's chakra in it, can he use it? She'd explain that any type of chakra could probably be poured in it, like nature chakra if he really uh, was able to do it long enough, but it takes sometimes years to create the pouch of chakra itself. So she'd write down on a scroll for him what he'd need to practice to be able to create the pouch of the hundred healings. He'd basically smile and tell her thank you, and then be off. He'd make his way home to where he'd see four shinobi jumping. He wouldn't mind it because he thought it might have been Ambu because they didn't even bother to be stealthy in their eyes even though they were really trying. He'd think that why would they need to be sneaky of their Ambu? They seem to be really powerful. That means they could probably just hide their presence, wouldn't it? But this could be further from the truth. This was the sound for just going at it. They were basically going towards Sasuke to have that little speech. Sasuke would be encountered by the sound floor, having a similar interaction the first time that they did in canon, with Kakashi tying him up to a tree and leaving him there, and then, then trying to talk to him. He'd tell them to fuck off, and they'd basically come back later, uh, even though he doesn't really want them to, but yeah. He would get out of the situation, thanks to their help, and go home. He'd basically start brooding about Naruto because Naruto defeated an entire Jinchuriki and he basically got ill from a fucking hickey. And he doesn't even know what these markings that appear when he uses his Sharingan are. But there's just one difference. When he uses it, it doesn't really hurt. To him, it's more like it just makes him uber powerful, but it takes about 10 times more chakra than it normally would. So it has its pros, but also its cons. If someone's ab about the same strength than you, yes, you could use it, but you'd need to be really good at strategy, which Sasuke would acknowledge. And then something would happen. He'd decide that the next day he's challenging Naruto. He's sick of this. Some time would pass and Naruto would come to see how Sasuke's doing when Sasuke would just start throwing punches and kicks and already bursting into his three tomo state. Naruto would know that this is serious. He would not transform just yet because of Sasuke's condition, because the marks are already going, and Jirai explained to him that this was the curse mark. They'd fight for some while, and Naruto would eventually just outpace him by having more chakra and conserving it, just using the body flicker at key moments to dodge attacks and similar things. Sasuke would obviously be enraged by this and decide that Naruto just making fun of him at this point. He never even transformed. He knows Naruto has a form. They've used it against each other multiple times. Was that just all a game to Naruto? Was it? But that is going to be it, guys. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. As I usually say, it takes a lot of effort to go into these videos. I do semi-script these. It takes me about an hour, but... I still don't read them all the time, so I usually just memorize them and put them down. So, if you haven't yet, go check out all my socials and my Twitch in the link in the description. I'm going to be streaming, editing uh, new videos on there. So, if you want some early access content, make sure to go follow me on Twitch. So, without further ado, roll that outro. Subscribe for more. Yada yada does it. <laughs>